Hey guys, we're going to show you how to make a snow tab today. Okay, yes, we are going to do a snap tab and I'm just finishing up getting my files written and it's storming here so I had to get my computer, or not my computer, but my uh, machine plugged into the surge protector just in case and luckily this is a quick file so it won't take very long so I'm going to hurry up and get it but I lost my file so hold on just a second oh my goodness I lost the whole folder this is exciting I listed it yesterday and now I don't have Oh, here it is. It was hiding behind my window. Sorry. I have zero stuff right now. This is very unorganized. Hi, Judy. Thank you for joining. Sorry, it is taking longer than I expected. Okay. We are going to get it loaded on the machine now. We've got all our threads loaded. I'm gonna show you. And I'm gonna Jordan's gonna hold it. Don't bounce it around. So each snap tab with this file I've loaded, you can do one snap tab, which is what we're gonna do in a hooping, or you can do three if you're using a five by seven hoop. So today I'm just gonna do one. So it'll be quick. I know it's a holiday weekend and Everyone's, well not everyone, some people probably have plans, more than hanging out live with us. We've got plans later tonight, but now it's storming, so I'm not sure that's going to happen. what we're going to do. So I'm using a fast frame, and I'm also using sticky stabilizer. I prefer this when I make my snap tabs, it's so much faster. If I'm going to do a lot for my 8x12, I will actually whoops, use a regular hoop, but for this we are just going to do one. So because I'm using my fast frames and my sticky stabilizer, where's my fast frame at? I am going to have to trace my design, which is something that you won't have to do. Because my machine does not recognize the fast frames. There's a star. That's where a snap tab is going to look like. And then that thingy is where the snappy goes. And then it goes. Okay, so we're going to trace really quick. make sure one more time okay so we're just tracing to make sure it's not going to hit the sides of the frame my machine does not recognize the fast frames so if I don't trace it and I bump it's going to break my needle so now let's get started <clears throat> for the snap tabs it's going to show you this is going to be our placement stitch I run that right on the stabilizer. That is kind of annoying with sticky stabilizer. It kind of sticks a little bit, but that's okay. So step one, run your placement stitch right on your stabilizer. definitely want to run this when you're working with vinyl my wiper I still I need to take that in it's been doing that all week uh, when you're using vinyl you want to use as little as possible to me that stuff is precious I don't um, like wasting it so I'm gonna line it up since it's sticky it'll stick right to it so our next step is going to be our tack down stitch which is going 
to it's going to be the exact same thing only on top so now we're going to do it in a color that I'm doing my snap tab so we're going to use blue normal applique with a tack down stitch. Normally after your tack down you would want to um, with your tack down you would want to cut out around your applique fabric. For snap tabs I just let it go. So leave it on there until the final step when we cut everything out. So we have our, our tack down stitch. So now we're moving on to step number three which is going to be the little sprinkles that come out of the firework and we're going to use let's see we're going to use white on that one just to get the red white and the blue in there so that's on needle five this is a really quick stitch out so it's not going to take us very long to finish this My helper, she ran away from me. You'll be my helper, Kinsley. Kinsley's in here with me. Okay, so we have our sprinkles done. I don't know what to call those, my little lines. Next up is the stars. There's my big helper decided to come down. On the big star, or on the stars, we're going to do red now, which is step um, number four. I just this is our next to last step, so we want our machine to stop after this step. Judy, I'm noticing that there are going to be a couple stitches. I put those stars too close together. It should have cut them, but when there when there are items that are so close, it won't cut them. But for the most part, yes, it eliminates a lot of jump stitches. Okay, looks like we have two more stars, and then we can move to the next step.
So that was our final step as far as the stitching on top. So now our last step looks like steps one and two. So that means we're going to run our final stitch. It's a triple stitch. It's usually with my designs. It'll be um, the bean stitch, triple stitch, so that it secures it. It's going to be a tight um, stitch. It goes over it multiple times, so we're going to be good. So before we run the last step, I'm going to show you. Everything is still on my hoop, and I'm going to take a separate piece of vinyl. I lost all my cameramen. They've run out on me. I'm brushing my So hair. I'm holding... I'm holding it out here. So on the design, I use this really pretty glittery vinyl from Mikri. I love Mikri vinyl. Um, I I love. I mean, it's got the canvas on the back, and it's soft. It's um, it's got the covering on top, so it's not scratchy. So it's gonna be durable. Anyway, for the back, I'm not as concerned about, it, especially since this is a demonstration. So I'm just using this vinyl that I got at Joann's. I buy it. It's over in the upholstery section and it's, I can get it, it's $20 a yard but I use my coupons. I get, they put it on 40% off a lot and I use the, you know, extra 20% off. So I stock up on my solid colors. I get the white. I get the nude color like um, flesh. I get black, sometimes navy, yellow. I'll show you my little drawer. This is my drawer of what I picked up at Joann's. Just basic, solid. They're not as pretty. They're not glittery, but they've got the canvas backing on them. They're marine vinyl, so they're meant to be outside. They're durable. They're thick, and they work great, and they're cheap. Er, at least. Cheaper than um, buying the small sheets, and I can buy huge, big rolls of them, so I'm stocked up. So anyway, I'm going to have... Kaylin's going to hold the camera for me. So for this last step, I'm going to take my piece of vinyl and I'm going to lay it. If you see, here's my vinyl, my stabilizer, my hoop, and then my needle plate. I'm going to put this good side. This is the front side, the side you want to see. This is the canvas. I'm going to put it good side down. So when the snap tab is done, you're going to see the good side. So I put it, I make sure it's covering the entire design. And you can pin it with it being vinyl. It's going to be a little thicker. Um, this is going to be pretty quick, so I'm just going to make sure I'm using the same thread. And we're going to run our final stitch. And it's going to sandwich all of these three pieces together. take my hoop off and we're going to come over here to my wonderful work area. We've been working with vinyl all week so everything is everywhere. I'm stuck. So now we're going to unhoop it. Since I use sticky stabilizer I can just pop it right out of there. So now I have, this is the back, this is the front. We're going to cut it out. All my scissors are gone. Oh, here's, okay. We'll use these ones. These are not the best, but they're sharp enough to cut right So now we're going to use that blue line as our guide. We won't cut it. We're not going to cut our guide. We want that pretty finished triple stitch to be on top. Okay. 
Try to get through both layers. And try not to cut my finger. That would be bad. Yeah, I'm trying to use my finger as a guide to where to cut back there too. Snip. Ow. Make sure I'm going through both and then I'm going to snip. Done that before, right between your fingers. Ooh. And you want to get close, but leave a little bit of a gap. Because you don't want to cut your threads and you... And the little border is fine. So now we have it all cut out, front and back. I'm going to really quick cut these little jumps. I don't have my little thread cutters either. Oh, you can't, you can't barely even see that white. The glitter is so pretty. Okay, so. Now we're ready to add the snap. If you have a snap set, you know how to do this, but I'm going to demonstrate, start to finish, how easy it is. Um, these snaps I ordered from Meekery also. And the snap thing, it's Dritz. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. They're 20 bucks. I used a 40% off, so that was super cheap. Okay, so what we're going to do... I'm going to gauge, like I'm going to fold this in half. This is going to be what the snap tab looks like. So I want my snap to be about right there. So it comes with all these, your snap setter will come with these tools. So I poke this through up here, both layers. I poke it through here, leave it a little gap because we don't want the snap over the top. And then we're going to use blue because it looks like, well, I don't think I have all the, red parts and with your snap sets you're going to come with three pieces you're going to have or three types of pieces you're going to have this oh my goodness it's all they all fall together here. you're going to have one that has a knob on it here you're going to have a flat one and then you're going to have these ones with the points. Kind of looks like a push pin. Yeah, like a push pin. So you push that through. And then I usually use the one with the knob on top, but it doesn't matter. It's got these little grips. Wow. These little grips on the back. And you're going to put that right here with the pointy side, the bumpy side out. And then this part goes on the front. And then that goes right in the smooth section. The black part, the snap sits right in there. There's like a little groove. And then just Squeeze. push it. If you do a lot of these, this hurts. You want to press. Trust me. I don't have one of those yet. And then we're going to do the up. Oh my gosh, I have droppy <laughs> hands today. We're going to put the other one right there. And then I'm going to use the flat piece, put that on the back, do the same thing, and press. And then I don't know where my key rings are because, again, we were at a craft show and I was making and finishing things at the craft show. Oh, do you have one? Okay, anyway, so our snaps are in, folded over in half, voila, and there's our snap tab. So in case you've been intimidated or unsure how easy it is to make a snap tab, there you go. They are addictive, they are quick, you saw, I mean 20 minutes uh, is all it took start to finish. Um, and if you do a whole sheet of them, they go even quicker because you can just run all your steps at once. But that 20 minutes, that's with me babbling, that's with me trying to get all my stuff together. And 
all that fun jazz. So there you go. There's your snap tab. Hopefully you guys enjoy the freebie. Um, grab it. It'll be up until tomorrow, Sunday night at midnight or 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. Or if I fall asleep before that, it'll be up till I wake up the next day. <laughs> so there you go. Have a happy and fun 4th of July. We're getting ready to go hang out with friends. Have fun. Bye. Bye.